what's going on youtube it's your boy and Kevin to come back to another video here man yo how y'all been feeling about 2k this year man i'm hearing a lot of mixed reviews and stuff about it some people say it's good some people say it's bad but really i'm just here to talk about what they did right this year as much as 2k does wrong they do do right sometimes so let's break down the top five things that 2k did right this year in 2k23 2k23 redid the legend system this year in 2k22 all you did was had to reach level 40 four different times which was kind of stupid you said to do it in four, four different seasons to reach level 40 it wasn't that hard during the first like two to three seasons i think you could save your xp coins and you can just carry over into the next season and then just level up very quickly but it didn't feel like a grind though no. Like, let's compare it to 2k18 2k19 when it was rolled to 99 and reaching level 99 was equivalent to reaching a legend status now it wasn't easy to reach 99 like in 2k22 or 2k23 each new overall upgrade was like another tier so not everybody was able to reach 99 overall which to be honest i agreed with not everybody is a 99 overall but everybody can make a 99 overall now that's a topic for another video so the people who do like the grind the grind is back this year for the legend i don't know exactly what it is because i don't ever try to grind to legend but i'll say it does look like worth the grind this year there's a whole lot of things that you got to do like play pro-am play park 2 i don't really know all of it like i said but all i know is they got to make the legend prize good last year the legend prize was a parrot on your shoulder or that flew around and then sat at the top of the backboard a parrot in 2k22 as a legend prize like come on man come on that that was terrible that was one of the worst legend prizes i ever seen but so far the legend does look good i'll say that another thing that 2k23 did right this year was add in a theater for most people who like to play three on three two on two one on one the theater is the place to go it is all matchmaking so you don't have to wait in the park for your squad spot or the game to finish you just get automatically put into the next game once the game finishes like there's different game modes one of my favorite ones they did was when the game first came out it was a state farm assist one it was three on three basketball you could bring a squad or just run with randoms but every time you scored off an assist it was an extra point so you could have potential four point plays off a three point shot and so it incentivized passing and i was like yo this is one of the best game modes they've added in a the theater i don't think there's another game mode better than that one there's a bunch of different game modes just like that one like they'll have 2v2 no squads or 2v2 squads uh they'll have a quick game which is like a game to 11 points on 3v3 they also had like a 2k15 throwback where it was um every three point shot was a two point shot and every two point shot was a one point shot and you played up to 15 so they had stuff like that and it's just it's cool to see i like that there's one thing i do miss though is the old gym the old gym was 3v3 matchmaking no squads i used to run out all the time like they've had that in the theater before but i just like that set game mode 3v3 no squads you just run with randoms everybody a random maybe they can expand on that for next year's 2k24 but the theater was like one of the best additions in 2k i've ever seen and we got to give 2k credit for that another thing that 2k did right this year was given a lot of free clothing so if you play the my career story you're going to get a lot of opportunities to get free clothing like they gave up basketball jerseys i know i have like tracy mcgrady's Tyler harrow josh giddy everybody gets like the same free clothing but it's free in their basketball jerseys you also get free shoes too like i have some jordan threes and some jordan ones like nothing is better than free man and you know what like the 2k23 prices and everything vc is hard to come by so if they're giving out free clothing man you better take advantage of the opportunity they're giving you man like i understand some people don't like playing the story mode but if you want some free clothing man play the story mode don't complain that 2k isn't giving out free stuff they are and with locker codes too there's opportunities at locker codes that they give out and give you free stuff and it's a good amount of free clothing too like it's multiple items i've gotten for free i've only spent vc on a couple of items some black and white like accessories for like orange sleeves leg sleeves whatever shit like that and some shorts i bought one pair of shorts oh and some socks too some color socks but i haven't really bought anything else because i got a good free amount of clothing and i, I didn't really want to spend that much because i wanted to spend most of my bc towards my attributes because you know those aren't cheap to come by either the other thing that 2k23 did right this year is the beautiful looking parks yo have y'all been to each of the four parks like they actually took their time like shout out to the design team for making these parks look fire the western wildcats north side knights is it the south city or south beach vipers something like that and then the beast of the east like bro these are actually fire bro like they're actually fitting with the theme of each mascot for each 
action crew whatever they call them in i can't remember but it's like damn these are actually fire and if you compare these to like the worst looking park which would probably have to be 2k18s shout out 2k18 like these would blow 2k18s out of the park now like really the design team really went to detail with these parks like everyone looks different only thing i don't like about it is still like the stairs and stuff like that how many times we gotta keep telling these people we don't like stairs make a hill instead or something shit like some shit like that bro but these stairs are annoying i know some people don't even play park they just go straight to the pro-am or rec but just take some time out of your day to look go to these four different parks man like detail detail went into each one of these man another thing that 2k23 did right was the my player builder now it's taken a couple years for 2k to get this exactly the way it needs to be but i think this is the best iteration of the my player builder we've seen so what 2k23 did different this year was the badge system so each badge has a tier and each tier has a different amount of points so the higher the tier the more badge points you're going to need to spend bronze silver and gold hall of fame and so the better badges are the higher tier badges but then like the more your build is towards that certain category like if you're a shooting build or a defensive build the batch upgrades will be less badge points and so i thought that was really smart of them so not every badge costs the same so like these better badges are more points so if you want to be that good with like say circus threes if that's a good badge i don't really use it but if that one is a good badge then you're gonna need to spend those points on it or glove which was just pickpocket last year if you want to be good at reaching and getting steals you're gonna need to spend more points on it that might be a tier three badge so i thought that was really cool that they did that this year but like for the regular my player builder it's pretty similar to last year too but it was really just like that bad system part of the my player builder i was like damn this is actually fire it really made you think about your build like damn where do i want these bash points to go but ever since they introduced the my player builder it's been like one of the best additions to 2k but like like i said this is the best iteration i think we've seen and sometimes you need your certain attribute to be a certain level so you can get that gold silver or hall of fame badge as much as we get 2k we gotta give them some credit when credit is due when they do things right and these are some of the things that they did right but what do y'all think that 2k did right let me know down in the comments if you haven't already make sure you comment like subscribe hit the notification bell because youtube always doesn't recommend when i upload i'm on instagram twitter tiktok you can find all my shorts and clips and stuff on there also you can find them on my channel too they're here also if you like listening to the podcast tune into me my boys podcast link is also in the description but until next time it's your boy nk rudy signing off back up if a nigga act up then he getting clapped up y'all tell your bitch to back up she just want to chill she just want to slow my pack up y'all